All right, so in this video, we're going to make a very, uh, a very tiny uh, routing library. Uh, I, I took inspiration from my own project. And uh, it's pretty, pretty much the uh, same implementation. All right, so let's get started. Uh, we're going to create a route with .js. Uh, afterwards, we're going to uh, require stuff, const HTTP require uh, HTTP uh, what else I guess const uh, methods oh. methods equals HTTP dot methods actually no need for this one all right so class router constructor and what is going to be inside the constructor we're gonna have the route Going to be a, a map. Uh, we're also going to have the uh, uh, the chain, which is also the chains, which will also have ma uh, maps. Afterwards, we're gonna we're gonna do a little for loop for uh, let method of uh, HTTP dot methods, and what we're going to do instead of for loop is that we're going to say this a route uh, at method. Uh, equals a map and this dot chains uh, method equals an array. All right, so this is the basics. Now we're gonna do the handler. Uh, the handler is gonna be um, yeah something like that. Taking a request and result. What else do we have? Uh, yeah, we're also gonna have a a, a run. A run method it's gonna take in uh, the handlers and the um, request and result okay so now we can start uh, making the run method the run method what it is going to, to have it's going to have uh, basically a pointer so uh, let pointer equals zero uh, well, we're gonna, and now we're gonna run the the first the first handler in the handlers array. So handler at pointer at zero, uh, and we run request and result. What else do we have? Uh, we have the next the request on next. Yes, we're gonna put the next within the um, the uh, request. Uh, request on next equals uh yeah equals uh, handlers at, oh, at pointer at plus plus pointer that means a pre-increment pointer so uh, so we were at zero and if uh, within within that first handler uh, we call request on next it's gonna run the the next one uh, request result there you go and uh, now what we need is uh, the um, we need to add uh, to, to do the routing so so now let uh, let method equal request for method and uh, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna we're gonna check if the uh, route has this thing does it exist in routes if it does we use it so let uh, let route method equal uh, this dot routes uh, routes method and if uh, route method uh, if route method actually just uh, I think we can we can it's it's just a route so we can we can do the entire thing route equals URL. There you go. If the route exists, uh, we're gonna we're gonna run it with the route thing. So uh, run this will run, and uh, we're gonna put um, route. There you go. Request result. If it does not exist, we're just gonna do uh, the chain thing. So uh, this will run, and uh, this will change. And uh, we're gonna run it at the method. There you go. 
So that is pretty much it for the handler. Uh, now we just do uh, the some API functions. So let's start with create server. Create server. Well, what's gonna do is it's uh, it's gonna create a server. So return HP dot create server, and now uh, we're gonna put um the uh, uh the handler in. So uh, this dot handler. There you go. Now what else do we have? We have the serve, so it will serve on the port, uh, and it will have a callback. Uh, we're going to have a default value for the callback, it's just going to be an empty function. And uh, yeah, so uh, this.server equals uh, uh, this.createServer. And now we just do, uh, let's do a one liner I think. So uh, dot listen on port after uh, words uh, dot un listening do the callback function. So that is it. Now let's do the uh, the uh, routing API. Uh, let's something very simple I guess. Uh, route. Am I? Are we using route? Nope. It's cool routes. Okay. Yeah. So route, it will ask for method and uh, an URL and uh, the handlers. All right. So uh, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna check if uh, the the route already exists. If it exists, we just push it. If it doesn't exist, we create it. So if uh, I guess let route let route method equals this dot route method. Now we'll just do if uh, route method at uh, URL. Well. If it already exists, we we'll just do route method at uh, well. dot push and spread the handlers. I mean, there we go. Else, we we'll just do route method at URL well. equals. Uh, handlers. There we go. So that is for the route API. Now we're going to have the chain API. Chain API is going to ask for the method. So handlers and let uh, yeah, it's, it's just literally just um, uh, uh, it is literally this dot chain at method dot push and we spread the handlers in. That is it. I think that is it. So now let's export the thing. Model.export equals router. Now let's create a new file, call it test.js. And uh, let's import that. So uh, const, uh, const router, oh, router equals uh, require, oh, require, Router dot slash router. Now let's create the app. Const app equals new router and app dot serve on port eighty eighty with the callback of uh, constant dot log. I am listening on port eighty eighty. Voila. And then now let's uh, add some routes. So app route and I guess the method will be get uh, get on the root oh root and uh, the handler will be request result uh, result of and well well and now we're gonna also add a uh, a a uh, a content type set head set headers uh, set header yeah yeah set header uh, content type and the content type is going to be uh, TikTok content. Voila. Beautiful. All right. So now let's also add a 404 handler because we didn't add one. And uh, if, if we if we look at the code, if there's no 404 handler, we're going to go into an exception because this will try to execute undefined. So we need, absolutely need a 404 handler. So to do so, 
uh, we just use our API that we just made, dot chain, and uh, one method. Uh, technically, we should we should have like something like a shorthand to like do star all the methods, but I'm uh, I'm too lazy to implement it like on video. All right, so you know, just do get. So it only it will only work for get, and um, the handler will be just request result. And what we're going to do is that we're going to do the set its status code to four four. And we're gonna result the end not found uh, for four. Oh, there we go. So now let's test this thing. Okay. So uh, let's test it out. Uh, so I guess uh, I just do node test. I am listening on port. Everything seems fine. So let's uh, open up a browser. A browser, there you go, a browser, and let's just uh, go into local host, 8080, hello world with a never, and why is that, uh, yeah, yeah, alright, of course, alright, all right. request, result, what did I do here, so run, and I forgot to add request result here, there you go. Best result. We run that. Now, if we go onto a um, yeah, go. And now, if we go into a route that doesn't exist, it will do portable not found. Oh, sorry for that notification. I will just set up my phone. There you go. All right. So that is it. This is your uh, routing framework an off framework library in less than 12 minutes almost all right well thanks for watching uh, it has been a pleasure to uh, to make this video mm, imported something useless there you go again yes it is my second time doing this video because the first one was absolutely trash all right and if you guys are uh, uh, curious to like to, 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 to look at my uh, implementation of this thing, but like at a larger scale, uh, please check NPM. Uh, on the NPM, there's a thing called GAR. Yes, a four letter name that makes sense. GAR, meaning a uh, train station in French or in English. I think English it works as well. So yeah. And, uh, I, I am, I am looking for someone to work on it with me because I am I am bored <laughs> yeah thanks for watching and uh, uh, I guess see you till next uh, video bye